Hello, welcome. In this session, we're going to see how we can download and install that on our computer. On this case, specifically on Windows operating system. So open your browser and on the URL bar, you can just type that or type the, or the or type that dot uh, dev. So I'll just write, type that. Then what I'm interested in is this link. So I click on that programming language. It will take me to the that.dev website. Then what we're interested in, we're not interested in other, all these, all these other information for now. We're only interested in installing that. So we have uh, ways that you can install that uh, on Windows, on, uh, uh, on Linux and Mac OS. For Windows, they have a short description on how to install uh, that using Toco on your CLI. For us, we are not going to use that method. Let us use the simplest. And the simplest method is uh, to download a zip file. So what I am, want you to look at is this section, installing the Dart SDK. And then under that, look for this file called download the SDK as a zip file. Click on it, and that will direct you to uh, that archive. Under that archive section, you will have uh, the you'll have the version, operating system, the architecture, release. So it is important you know the architecture of your system. For my case, uh, it is 64 bit. Uh, if it is 32 bit, you download 32 bit. So for my case, I'll download uh, that uh, SDK 64 bit. Click on that link to download it. The other thing of important is to know where you are, where your file will be uh, saved on. In most cases, it will be saved on downloads, but for my case, I am saving it on videos. So this, it is very important to keep track of that. So click on save. Once you have uh, clicked, or, oh, sorry, it is showing that message because I had already downloaded uh, that. So after that, you just need to click on save. And then you keep track of your, for my case, I'll keep track here and it is telling me four minutes left. Don't worry about this. This will depend on the internet speed. Uh, if, uh, but as long as you have progress here, you there is no problem. For my case, I had already downloaded uh, that so that this video will not be too long. After doing that, I'll click on this folder, uh, on this icon, which is uh, show folder. Uh, where that where the downloaded file is in, or I can just go open my file explorer and then head on to videos. That's where my that is, and then I can just confirm if my file is really there. Yes, it is there. So this is a zipped file. The first thing we need to do is to extract it, and extracting it uh, means also uncompressing it. To do that, right click on the compressed file and then click on extract all. After clicking on extract all, it will ask you where to save that. For my case, I just want to save it uh, on this directory video. And then I'll just click on extract. So it doesn't take long to extract.
Okay, it's now about to finish. Now it has finished. Uh, if you check uh, on here, just please allow me to close this window. You can as well close it. So uh, on here, I have uh, the extracted file, which contains the same file as this one. So to open it, right click and then click open, or you can simply double click on it. And what I'm interested in is these files that are inside here. So after opening, uh, after opening this file, what I want you to do is right click on it because I want us to copy it. So after right clicking on it, click on copy and then head on to local disk C. To do that, you can either click here, local disk C, or the best way is go to this PC and then click on local disk C, double click to open it. After opening on it, I want us to create a folder and call it that. So to do that, click, right click on a blank area. Don't click on area where you have uh, an icon like here. Don't click there. You will not uh, get all that. So right click on a blank area, then go to new. What you want to create is a folder. And we can call that folder that, okay? Press that, press enter to complete. And then open the folder that by double, by double clicking on it. And then right click and paste the file that we copied like that. So this will also take a few seconds to paste. But, but as long as you have progress here, you don't need to worry. There are a lot of files, around uh, 600 files to be copied. Okay, that six remaining. Now it's almost done. And now it is done. Good. So because this is the this is uh, the file that will enable you to write and run SDK uh, that uh, file, and the files that you need are inside the bin folder. So we need to tell our computer where to get that.exe. This is the most important file, uh, that, uh, that .exe. .exe means executable or uh, executable file. So what you can do is right click, you see here, you can right click there or just click inside here. As long as you are inside the bin folder, make sure you are inside the bin folder. Then you can just click, uh, sorry, Make sure you are inside the bin folder. And then you can just right click on it. And then when you right click on the bin, you have uh, copy address as text. In this case, copy address as text. So you click on that. Now that means you have copied the entire address, this one. You have, uh, this is the address or the path to get to the bin file. So you can as well double click here and then select it like that, and then right click and then copy it like that. So after that, we want to set, uh, uh, we want to add that uh, path to that directory to a file. To do that, just click on this piece, uh, that right click on this PC and then click on properties. After clicking on properties, you can click on advanced system settings. And then look uh, at the bottom on the advanced system, uh, on system property window. At the bottom, there is environment variable. Click on environment variable. And then click on path. 
And what you want to do is to edit. Make sure you select path and uh, you, uh, you know that it is selected, it will be highlighted in blue. So click edit and then we click on new and then uh, right click there and paste the path that you copied like that. And then click OK, click OK, and then click OK to close all those windows. However, if you think this uh, process of uh, going to right-clicking on the properties, uh, right-clicking on this PC, going to properties, ideas, you can as well write environment variable here. environment variable from there. And then you can click on edit environment variable for your account like that. And this will directly take you to environment variable window. You can select path and then edit. And remember what you want to do is to click uh, new. For us, we will not add it again because we have already added it here. So, and then after that, remember to close okay. Uh, to click on okay to close to close. So to make sure that uh, SDK is installed in your, uh, 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 that SDK is installed on your computer, you, you open CMD, like that, click, select, uh, type CMD on the search, and then click on, you can click on that, or open Windows PowerShell. For my case, I'll use Windows PowerShell. So taking some time to load for you as uh, if you're using CMD, it will be much faster. After doing that, now here we can type, we can check the dot version, which is dot uh, uh, da, a space and then dash uppercase V that will give us the dot version. Okay. Now we can see, uh, so could not find the option flag or, oh, okay, if that one is not found, we can do that and then dash dash version. Like that, we write it in full. Then there we are. We have, you have successfully in, installed that 2.19.1 and that is a stable version. So thank you very much. That is the end, and that's how you install, uh, download and install that on Windows.